what about this for an opener? Friends, fellow lovers of the martial arts, potential investors, I come before you today with an opportunity the likes of which you may not soon see again. It is an opportunity to not only enrich yourselves, but the lives of hundreds, perhaps thousands of people. Let me stop you there, baby. Okay. We could lose that last bit altogether, baby. The kind of people I'm asking for money ain't interested in enriching the lives of other people. I see. What are they interested in? Same thing I'm interested in. Oh, so the acquisition of wealth regardless of the means or the cost to those other than themselves. Not just wealth. Power and influence too, baby. Got it. Toby Vinson, with all due respect to my esteemed colleague Stuffy... You don't have to walk on eggshells with me just because Cacciatore the Great died. Stuffy's full of shit. I think you need to come at this from a completely different angle if you really want these people to invest in your chain of Krav Maga Studios. Tell me more, baby. Okay, first you need to let these people know that you are one of them. So you start out by saying hi, thanking everybody for coming, then you hit them right away with this joke. Say, does anybody know why Krav Maga masters make such lousy butchers? Because when customers order chops, they leave with bruises on their necks. Because when the customer asks for chops, the Krav Maga master actually chops them. So it's funny because the butcher has poor verbal comprehension? No, it's a play on words. It shifts the meaning of the word chop from a cut of meat to a martial arts strike. See? Yeah, that's not funny, baby. And it implies that learning Krav Maga can make you less able to effectively communicate with people which wouldn't exactly spur investment in a Krav Maga school. All right, never mind. Forget the joke. Toby Benson, maybe it would help if you gave us more of a specific idea what you wanted to say with this speech. It's simple, baby. I want to expand my Krav Maga studio into a franchise. Like the Cobra Kai dojos and the Karate Kid. Karate Kid Part 3, baby. Oh, you're going to Terry Silver this motherfucker? I'm going to Terry Silver all over this motherfucker, baby. We know this already. Toby Benson told us about his plan to expand his Krav Maga studio into a franchise five minutes ago when he asked us to help him write his pitch for investors. I know. So why did he just explain it again? And why did you react to it as though you were hearing it for the first time? I don't know. If you keep deconstructing everything, this shit is gonna go nowhere, baby. Sorry. Sorry, Toby Benson. As I was saying, I want to expand into a franchise and I need some cash. You gotta spend money to make money, baby. When we design campaigns to draw donations at the Mid-Atlantic Food Bank, we try to give people a simple message that allows them to feel like, by donating, they can be a part of something. So if people invest in your Krav Maga franchise, what will they be a part of? You know what I would tell them, baby? I tell them that they would be a part of something so kick-ass and awesome, they wouldn't even be able to believe it. If they go into business with me, they'll feel like they can take over the world, baby. Because this is bigger than me. And this is bigger than the people I'm hitting up for support. This is about taking control of your life. This is about doing what's right for yourself and for your kids and for your community, baby. It's about making an investment in the future and shit. Bravo, you magnificent bastard. Oh, hey, baby. How long you been there? Long enough to know that these two clueless twats should be taking notes rather than sitting there juggling their bollocks. I don't even have... That was just some shit off the top of my head. You really liked it, baby? Of course I liked it, you bloody imbecile. How many more times would you like me to say it? I liked it. I liked it. I fucking well liked it. I guess it was pretty good, huh? Glad you appreciated it, baby. Well, don't get too excited. It's a bloody good stump speech. But then again, it's about time you started earning your keep as me chief of staff. Don't forget to put a bit at the beginning where I thank all the public officials and whatnot in attendance who've endorsed me campaign. And to make a note that I am always to be introduced as the next president of these United States. I think you got the wrong impression, baby. Jack, the speech we're writing isn't for you. I've no time to discuss strategy at the moment. I've just bought a case of Smithics, and it's not going to drink itself now, is it? Carry on. We'll pick this up in two or three days. So he's probably going to be pretty mad when he finds out the speech we're writing isn't for him. We'll deal with that later. You heard him, baby. We got two or three days to come up with something for him. True, but shouldn't we get on top of it now? So we don't find ourselves facing a deadline with our backs to the wall in a few days? What the hell kind of ride are you, baby? Now shut up and take this down. I'm ready to spit hot fire. Ready? Let's hear it. Okay, here I go, baby. How many of you have ever been online at the post office with an obnoxious person behind you and you thought, Damn, baby, 
I wish there was a place I could go where I could learn how to beat this person's mouth off of their face in less than five seconds. If you've ever been in that situation, or you know somebody who has, listen up, because you're about ten seconds away from wanting to give me some money, baby. He's good. I should use him to attract donors at the Mid-Atlantic Food Bank. What's that? Never mind. The point is, he's a good pitch man. He's not that good. Before I can teach people how to break some necks, you people gotta write some checks. How much do you need? I don't have any checks. Is a bank transfer okay? Not that good, eh? I'm just trying to build them up. Take out that wallet, baby, and give me all your goddamn money right now! Here, just take my ATM card. The pin number's written on the back. I'm gonna take it all, baby! Take everything!